Here I'm going to talk about the Prompt Explorer tool. So if you go to Tools here and go down, you'll see Prompt Explorer. We click on that and we'll bring up this tool. So I'll just bring Script Atlas off to the side there and we'll just look at the Prompt Explorer. So this tool is pretty handy. Um, I know you already have um, 128 guided prompts in here. I like to call these guided prompts because it kind of you got to answer questions to sort of uh, fill in the blanks and it gives you the prompts you can use in your favorite AI engine. But I decided that I think it'd be cool to have like a prompt explorer, something similar to like the Windows Explorer where you kind of explore files on your computer. That's where I kind of got the idea from. And so I decided, well, why don't I just go with um, like a prompt explorer kind of thing where you can have like categories over here and then you can have your prompts here. So basically, what is this? Um, you could see if you just come here, I'm just going to just click on the go button and you'll see we have 20,165 in here. I think when it's delivered, um, it's when you first open this up, I should say it'll be 20,125. So I've added some um, 40 prompts in there. You can see this, this right, right here, this category. But what this is, it's a massive database of prompt templates. So they're full prompts or prompt template where you got to fill in some blanks. For example, you can see this up here. So if I just double click any row in this data grid, it'll bring up the prompt viewer so you can see the actual prompt. And here it is. So this is a prompt template. So you can see you have to actually fill in a blank here sort of thing. Some of them you don't have to, it's just a full on prompt. But so the idea here is when you go online, there's just like so many prompts. There's like tens of thousands of prompts on the internet. You know, if you just go to um, Google right now and just say, you know, best chat GPT prompts for marketing, for example, it'll just come up with just, you know, 100 here, 200 there, nine there, 40 there. It just goes on and on and on like forever. <laughs> like there's just a lot of prompts. So I decided to go out and find a whole bunch of really good ones and put them all into here. So that's why I decided to build this separate little tool and make a whole bunch of um, searching features so you can get to the prompts you really need fast. I also added like 5,000 mid-journey prompts here if you're a big fan of using the mid-journey Im text to image generator, which is pretty powerful. I love using it. So I decided to put this in here for myself as well. So let me just show you how to use this real quickly. First and foremost, let's talk about searching. So you can see there's a search bar up here and there's a search bar up here. So there's several ways to search for what you're looking for. So let me just take you through the process. So the first thing you can do is you can search the category names. So this is not searching the content within the categories, just the names of the categories that you see here. So you could see un under marketing, um, you'll see this number right here. That's the number of prompts in this entire category and all the subcategories all added up. So you can see down here, this one has 100, 100, and 100. If you add all these numbers up, you can move this over a little bit here. If you add all these numbers up, it will add up to 3,079. That's how many prompts are in this entire category, including all subcategories. Now you can do um, multiple subcategories. You can go down as far as you want, just like Windows Explorer kind of thing. And so if you want to search just within here, so example, let's say you just want to look at something to do with just video. See if there's any video. And then it'll also um, do the the subcategories as well. So let me just like this again, let's expand all. And as you type vid, you'd see it will actually get all the categories that have the, that search term in it. So you can see that it has vid here and vid there. So it'll show those. And it'll also show the parent, even if the parent doesn't have that word in it. So it shows you the whole path. So let's say we did like YouTube. You can see here we got three different categories with the word YouTube in it. So now we can go directly to there. So that's how you can find categories really quick. Now another thing you can do is you can do this search over here. Now what this does, it will search for the keyword you put in there in all of the visible categories. So you can see right now, there's only three visible categories here right now. So if I go type in here and I go how, it's going to search all the prompts within just what we see over here. Okay, so if we click this little button here, now it's all the categories showing. Now if we go and search how it's gonna, you see down here there's only 1400. If I do it again, 
now we have 6,466 prompts that have the word how in it and that's because we have all of the categories over here visible we, di we didn't do any searching down here so let's do an example let's say we wanted to look for something to do with YouTube so let's just type in YouTube and search all the categories and all the prompts and go okay I found 258 so now I want to narrow down within here so what we can do is we can utilize the quick filter so up here if we click the little plus button now we can search within all of the results in the data grid so this is different so we're not searching all within here this is just what we see within the data grid for this particular column so now we can start typing in something we want for example like um, we're looking for shorts so short we came up with three of them like that now we've narrowed down now we can click on them and we quickly see if it's something that we want to do so that's a way of getting down to exactly really what you want and to get rid of that filter you can just click this again and click the X button to clear it out and there's another thing you can do in here so let me just clear this out here and let's go and and if you double click on any of these so if I double click on mid journey it's going to show all 5,000 in all categories within there. If you go in here and just double click on seasons and holidays, you're just going to get that. And I forgot to show you here, there is another column that shows up. Um, you do see the category column here. So you see where it came from. So if you select here, you'll notice that you'll have all sorts of categories. All the different categories are in there. So you do have that column and you do have the ability to search within that column as well if you'd like. But let me show you another way to get to the prompts. So I'm just going to click there to get all 5,002 in the data grid. And I want to narrow this down for my mid-journey prompt. So another way you can do this is you can right click and you'll see show filters. You can, act, you can get access to the same menu by clicking controls button down here. But I'm just going to go ahead and right click. And I'm going to go show filters. So now we can have filters for this particular data grid. And now we can add multiple filters. Now please note that when you use this one here, you're only doing one filter at a time. You don't do one keyword at a time. So if you want to do multiple keywords, use the custom filters by right clicking and selecting show filters. And now we can add filters. So the first one is empty, so I'm gonna select prompt. And I wanna look for prompts that contain the word sticker. And then you can click apply. And you can see I got 130. So let's say we wanted to narrow that down even more. So let's say we went to prompt and we're looking for contains, let's say 2D. Click apply. It narrowed it down not very much. So let's try something else. Like let's put the word face, for example. And we got 20 stickers that have the word, or sorry, 20 prompts that have the word sticker and face. And now we can quickly look through and see if any of these is something that we want a cute rainbow ice cream cone with smiling face sticker then we take this and we go ahead and we'd use it in mid journey if we want to do it so now you can see you can have multiple filters here you also have the option to save your filters to a filter file if you'd like so you can just go save and we can just save it here and then if we go and we go remove all filters now if we open that filter file it loads it up but then we have to apply it if you want to save um, some specific filters you'd like to have in a filter file, there is that option. Now you can also clear out all the filters by right clicking and go clear filters. And there's also another clear button down here, clear filters or clear grid. So if you clear filters, go like that, and then you can clear the, the grid. Now it doesn't delete any prompts, it just clears out the grid. That's all it does. So all the prompts are still over here. So if you really wanted to delete prompts, what you do is you'd right click and you delete the entire category but I mean it will delete all the prompts but let me show you the example here like these are just some I imported I'll show you how to import in a minute so let's say I don't want to have these anymore I can delete this category and it will delete the prompts in it as well and update everything so I can delete this as well you have to make sure you left click to select you'd see it highlighted before you right click to apply these uh, certain conditions to what is selected so I'll go ahead and delete this out of here. And let's say by accident, you actually deleted an entire category, like say all the mid-journey ones, so you deleted it by accident. You're like, oh no, I just lost it. What do I do now? Or something like that. 
But what you can do is you can always just go to controls or just right click. Controls is the same thing. You can see here it's the same menu. You can right click and you go set back to defaults and that will set it right back to defaults just the way you got it when you first installed. So that's kind of cool. You can do other things here. You can organize things if you want. Like say you didn't want to have mid journey down here. You can right click and actually move up the category or you can move it down. And I forgot to select it there. Move it down. You can also add. So let's just add a category and I want to make it um, a top level category. So <clears throat> you can see here we, we had general selected and so it automatically assumed you're going to create a subcategory within general, but I don't want to do that. I want to make a top level and let's just call it um, marketers or something or marketing. I already have marketing, so it won't let me do that. So I'll go marketing three. And now I can right click and I can add a prompt if I want. So say this is my test prompt just to show you. Then you can click OK and I'll put that in there for you. Double click it. Let me show you how to import prompts. Remember we did that search there on Google. Let's just bring this in the view here a little bit better. And let's just look for some prompts. What's this one here? Uh, 27 prompts for content creation and social media. So let's say I wanted to do this. Let's just select content creation. I'm just going to right click and copy. And I want to make a subcategory in here. Right click, add category, and it's not a top level. Paste it there. And so I'm going to go into here and I'm going to add those prompts. So let's just scroll down here and you can just select them. Like this and then I'm going to go control C on my keyboard or you can right click copy and now we do, do over here and you go right click and you import prompts so you can do multiple and now I can go in here and right click and paste now there's a few things here you can notice that there's double quotes around here I've added a couple little fancy little quick um, tools in here if you right click you can remove surrounding double quotes or single quotes or if there's any leading numbers there sometimes like when you copy you have like one two three you don't want those numbers there so I'm just going to go ahead and remove surrounding double quotes and just like that it's done and now we can go ahead and click OK and it's going to import them into there. Now if we double click there's all those prompts we just got. So it's kind of nice if you find a, a bunch of prompts online that you want to try out and test. Well it's nice to instead of keep going back to this website throw it into the prompt explorer and you'll always have it here. And I add in another thing here, like like say you, you've added a whole bunch of prompts and you've organized this, you, maybe you cleaned out some stuff you don't like, you put more in here and you, you'd like it the way it is, you can go file and you can actually save this category prompt to a data file. So I can save it wherever you want. Then you always have it saved. And then if you ever want to go back and reload that, you can go and reload it here. So you can see if we go to set back to defaults, now we can go back to file and we can load that back in and we'll get back the stuff we just had in there. So that's a handy little thing there. So I think that's pretty much it of showing everything there. Oh yeah, you can um, obviously you could delete prompts in here. So if I don't want that one, if I go here and that's like, well, I don't want this. So I'm just going to delete it. It'll delete that prompt. And then you can also send prompt to a snippet. So let's say you like you want to say, you know, save some mid journey prompts or something like that. You're like, oh, I want to save this to a snippet. You can send it to a snippet like that. You could select which snippet you want. So um, new prompt ideas, put it in there, for example, or you can create a new uh, snippet category. So there I have another video on how to use the snippets, but I'm going to go ahead and add this to the snippets and it should be added there. So if you go back to the snippet section, and in the custom snippets, we added it to the new idea prompts and it was put into here. That was the one there and there it is. So you do have the option to, you know, throw it into your snippets if you'd like, or you just keep it in here. I think it's good enough just to keep it within the prompt explorer because it's what it's sort of designed for, but um, you do have that option. So that's basically it. I don't want this video to get any much longer. I just want to show you exactly how to use this tool. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple to use. And once once you find what you want, like I guess let's go over to 
um, marketing or something like that business ideas so over here I just I just do it in here so I'll find the most profitable um, YouTube research business in I don't know Seattle so I just do it in there and then you copy it then you can just come back over to the browser use your favorite engine post it in there and you're good to go so that's how you'd use your prompt templates really really quickly and obviously if you love this prompt you can also save it you know I take this prompt like oh I kind of want to save that prompt so you could go down to saving it in your marketing prompts if you want make a new category or again you can just save that to a snippet you can add it down here save it if you want so lots of cool stuff to do a lot of little cool little tools where you could save all your data and get access to it real easily so that's it for this video i don't want to go any further so that's how you use the prompt explorer